Hey guys, I'm gonna make a little bit different video today. Uh, I'm gonna try to show you one of my chickens <laughs> and show you some of the average size of the eggs and some. Of the, we got some new ones. Have some that lay white eggs. Uh, whole reason for getting the ones that lay white eggs, I'm actually trying to get another breed that lays white eggs also that lays a little bit bigger egg and maybe a little bit more. Uh, but my main reason for getting them is I actually have what they call now an Easter egger. I don't happen to have any of their eggs in here, but I will show them in the in the later part of this video. But I have an Easter egg rooster, and he has what they call the blue egg gene. So basically, all these brown eggs that you see, no matter how dark they are on the outside, they're just as white as this egg on the inside. So they're white eggs, and the chicken puts a coating, which is basically part of their blood, <laughs> that makes them uh, dark. And I guess depending on how much of it they put, the darker they get. So... But what's up end up happening on a blue egg, actually the inside of the shell is blue and the outside of the shell is blue. All of these, if you crack them open, they're white on the inside, just like this white egg. Uh, it's just a coating that goes on the outside that makes them brown. But uh, the main reason I was going to show you all this video is the size of these eggs. You can't quite see it in this carton, but uh, not laying down like that anyway. But this egg right here, which I'm going to weigh for you also, uh, that's a double yolk egg actually. This is a single yolk egg which is still mighty big. And this is the normal size egg that this particular hen lays. Uh, I'm trying to get more of these. They're production red. Uh, I'm trying to get these to lay up here and not move around too much. Anyway, just so you can see, these are all from the same little hen. And she lays just about every day. But I was going to show you the way to those and I was going to show you the way to these. Uh, and let you see kind of why I want them and why I want to get the other white ones I'm getting. They're more of an egg production chicken. Uh, they're smaller. You wouldn't want to eat the actual chicken too much because uh, their size is just kind of small. But <clears throat> I have other chickens for that and I can always breed them and raise them if I want to eat some. So I have some bigger chickens that don't lay quite as big an egg but they eat more food for the amount of eggs that they lay. So I'm just going to turn this thing on. It'll zero out here. And uh, this egg I've already weighed. It weighs about 3.4 ounces, which is huge. <laughs> All right, the scale's reading upside down. So let me uh, change. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to change it. I may be casting a little bit of a shadow now, but you can still kind of read it. It says uh, 3.4, and that's uh, ounces. That's not pounds. The zero is the pounds. <laughs> so it's 3.4 ounces. All right, so we're going to take that egg off. And uh, we'll put it right there in the front of the carton. This is the next biggest egg that she laid. Uh, like I said, this is not her typical size either, but this is not a double yolk egg. And that's a 2.6 ounce egg. Uh, this is her typical size that we're fixing to weigh right now. This should weigh about 2, 2, 2, 2 4, somewhere in that area, if I remember right. 2.2, and I think the other one's going to weigh about the same. And that's her typical size, 2.2 ounces, which is basically a jumbo egg. <laughs> and that's what she lays normally. This little white egg can be about 2 ounces, which is still, actually that's a 2.2 ounce egg also. So this is one, I have white ones that lay a smaller egg also, uh, which I'm trying to get bigger. This one should be about the same, 2.2, 2.1. Uh, this one I think is from a... Uh, Buff Arctic, which is a lot bigger hen, they can get up to eight pounds. Uh, that one that's laying those big brown eggs, she only weighs about four pounds. <laughs> this is from a black ocelot. It should be about 2.2 also, 2.2. So like I said, most of my chickens weigh really big, heavy eggs. All right, I'm going to pause. I'm going to get you some of the smaller ones, and we'll show you those. Okay, so I just went and got these uh, eggs. And one of them actually is another one of her eggs right here. And we can see what that one weighs. That one actually is 2.3. So that's what I say. She weighs about a 2.2 to 2.3 normally. That's her normal size. Uh, this is what my little Easter egg is lay. And that's, that's about a 2. They get up to a 2 ounce. That's a 1.8 ounce. They're a little bit young. They should weigh about 2 ounces whenever they're laying them uh, for the most part. But every now and then they lay one that's a little bit lighter. Uh, no matter who they are. This one is a little jungle fowl. This one is one of her smaller eggs. And this 1.8 also. She normally lays a little bit bigger egg too. She just doesn't lay very often. <laughs> That's the bad thing. This one right here is from a neck and neck. And you'll see it's a little bit on the lighter side too. Now they're a small chicken. They're about the same size as that brown one that's laying a huge egg, a 2.2 ounce egg. 
they're about the same size they probably eat about the same amount of food but she just lays a little bit bigger egg so uh and she's laying pretty often the neck and necks do too i can't complain about it they actually some of my, my better layers i thought i had a smaller white egg in here i don't think i actually do uh some of these white eggs are actually laid by my neck and neck also <laughs> that one weighs like two two ounces and i'm not 100 sure when i get into this box right here that i'm in uh this is another one that should be kind of but basically what i was saying is all my chickens weigh pretty much an extra large to a jumbo egg i get very small very few large eggs uh and let me pause this one more time yeah i just went and got a different little scale i'm gonna just kind of show you this one but I, the main reason i got this one is just so you can see uh you see anything from one and a half ounces that red writing uh that if you look at the top is is ounces per dozen <laughs> and then on the other side it's ounces per egg so you, you see one and a half to one and three quarters that's considered a small egg one and three quarters to two is considered a medium egg two and over is considered an egg, a large and 2.2 .2 basically is two and a quarter so it should be like 2.5 but this scale is going to need to read 2.2 or 2.3 when you get to that area so i figure anything is 2.2 .2, i consider an extra large it's close enough and anything over two and a half is considered a jumbo so when you get to 2.5 or more that's a jumbo egg uh which is a really huge egg i'm not looking for that i'm looking for large to extra large eggs uh medium is okay but it's not really what i'm trying to get most of my chickens like i say lay over two ounce eggs most consistent i, I know you've seen a couple of them was like 1.8 ounces but like i said most of those are from younger uh hens and as they get older they will lay a, a bigger egg in the beginning they lay a small egg like i said man some of them don't even look much bigger than a quail i'm gonna set this thing down but i'll let you see the whole thing you set the little egg in there and on the back side it's got a little weight that you can adjust uh it's pretty accurate it's not probably quite as good as the digital scale, but it's actually pretty accurate. I've uh, weighed quite a good many eggs with it. Uh, like I said, just, you know, more for fooling around than anything else. It's kind of really hard to see the scale, though, for y'all uh, from here. But this is, like I said, this is one that should go into the extra large range. And it, you know, it kind of went off the scale. <laughs> uh, so you can adjust it. And I have uh, at times adjusted it. Right now it's probably been played with by one of the grandkids but anyway like i said but uh it's off a little bit right now because that egg should not be that heavy uh actually that is a pretty no that's that's not the big one i'm sorry Let's see. yeah this is the really big one that one definitely would go off the scale <laughs> but uh this is one of the smaller eggs and it's reading that one that's what i say it reads pretty good when you get down to the other one uh and like I said, that's between a medium and extra large. So, I mean, a medium and a large. And that's what I said. It should be, it's over an ounce and a half. Uh, like I said, I can't really get this phone down here great for you. But you can definitely see it's over the uh, the middle scale. But it's not quite all the way up to the two ounce. And I think that was like a 1.8 ounce egg. So, it's fairly good. Like I said, when you get to the really heavy stuff, it's not quite as accurate. And see, it's one point. So, it's over 1.13 1 quarter, which would be 1.8 would be over that. Uh, 1.75 would be exactly at one three quarter. So it was between, like I said, it was pointing about right here. So, like I said, so basically, you know, most people consider that a large egg. But like I said, that's where we were at. So anyway, I'm going to pause this. And then uh, in a little bit, I'm going to catch you up. And I'm going to show you the little red hen that's actually laying that big, really big egg that I want to try to get some of. I'll show you the white ones that I got. And I got a really rare chicken i'm also going to get i don't know if i'll get it today or some other time in the future but i've actually got a little hen that's got spurs normally only roosters get spurs but she's got some little small spurs and we just noticed it's one of the lavender ones uh, i haven't seen a chicken before with spurs but this particular chicken has some spurs so uh anyway like i said i'll uh i'm gonna pause this one like i said so it's on all in one video but i'm gonna go outside it's we had a lot of rain the other day so it'll be a second part of this <clears throat> and uh I'll, I'll show y'all that chicken and give y'all a little update on the chickens uh all right i'll be back with y'all in a few well i got one other thing i wanted to show and share with y'all real quick before we go outside uh you can see that the thermometer says it's about 70 degrees in here and uh this is actually some of their feed that we got for them 
I was a little bit in this box, but I've used most of it. This is the box that I used to, the spoon I used to get them out whenever I'm doing things. But anyway, these are what they call mealworms, and this is the little tower that I got to put my mealworms in. So basically, the top one I got nothing in it right now. It's just empty. Uh, gives them a little bit of a dark covering. These I just emptied out. These are uh, the dark beetles. They call them something else, but basically anyway. They lay a, a, a mealworm, and my chickens like to eat them. <laughs> and they gotten really expensive. So I decided to raise them myself. Because they basically just eat uh, wheat bran. Basic. I got white rice bran from them. They seem to be doing just fine on it. 50 pounds of it cost me. This one over here, poor little fella, he's upside down. I'll flip him back over. That's what I use that little spoon for. I'll flip him back over. I'll flip him really quick. You'll actually get to see him get flipped over. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. They make little divots or whatever, and then they get stuck in them. Uh, hopefully, I, I don't know if I got him or not on video. I'm sorry. I was paying more attention to him, but I tried to cover up all their little ruts and holes and smooth it out a little bit. You know, you can see he's crawling off. <laughs> so, uh, they, uh, they need moisture for, that's what the little carrots, you can't hardly tell what they are now, but that one, they're on that carrot. Basically, they eat the carrot for the moisture. That's how they drink. Uh, so I have three drawers and you'll see a lot of them in here upside down that one right there you can see his little legs wiggling he's upside down I'll fool with him a little bit later uh, I don't know if I can pull them out enough for you to see it but a lot of these are a lot lighter there are some dark ones in there too but these are younger ones and they get dark they start off really white and then they get darker as they get older and they won't turn upside down so bad afterwards this is the, my first ones that I collected eggs from. So there probably might be some really, really small uh, worms in there if the eggs have hatched. But once the eggs hatch, then the worms will start to grow and they'll eat. <laughs> I'll show you all that later when we can. This one basically just has what they call the pupae, uh, which a lot of people call them aliens because that's kind of what they look like, little aliens. But I don't see any beetles in that one right now. I might have some beetles in one of the other ones that are up here. We'll see in just a second. I mean, some of these might not even be alive anymore. Uh, if they're not, I'll feed them to my chickens. But that's a lot of the little alien uh, pupae is what they call them. So once they come to worms, they go into the pupae. And then from here, they turn into beetles. Uh, other beetles will eat them. They kind of, uh, they can't move around very good right now. So beetles can actually try to use them for moisture. There's a beetle that's upside down. You see his little legs moving. So I'll have to get him out. That's another beetle right there. So basically it's one of them little alien things that became a beetle <laughs> overnight. And I'll have to get him out. And then this is my last one. Sometimes this one has quite a good many. Just because it has so many more pupae in it. Uh, I'm actually looking at the phone just like y'all to see. There's a beetle right there. That's a darker one. But when they come out first, they're really light, like the pupae. They're like a white colored one. I don't know if I see any white ones in here or not. Let's try to move over here where there's a little bit more light and I can see a little bit better. So that's another brown one right there. That's a beetle. That's a little pupae alien. But they're normal. Here we go. I see one now. See how white he is? He's got a little brown head. He's by a little kernel of corn. But uh, he's got a little brown head and he's got the little white body. Well, that's his little wings. Uh, and like I said, this is another one over there in the corner. It's a little bit more brown now. But like I said, they'll turn out white and then they turn brown as they get older and then they get black. Uh, and once they get black, about two weeks after they turn black, they'll start laying eggs. And then they'll lay eggs for a while. And eventually they'll quit laying eggs. Uh, but anyway, and there's another white one right there, a light colored one. I said I'll have to get all these out and put them in with the other beetles before long. But uh, I think right now I probably have maybe 150 or more beetles. Uh, and they say each one of them I think I'm really about 500 eggs. So that's pretty good. I should get quite a many and I can get more and more. My goal is to be able to have mostly this side which is 10 drawers. Uh, the Little drawers like that and go all the way down to the bottom, but there's 10 of them on that side. And then these over this side are a little bit thicker. Uh, so basically what you do is every week you dump 
what's in your beetles, a little strainer kit that you use. I'll try to maybe show that one time sometime, but this was just a prompt to. But basically, you'll dump the feed that's in with the beetles, not the actual beetles, but the feed that's in there. Uh, you take the carrots out, you take that little cardboard egg carton thing out, and all the beetles out, but all the food part that's in there, and that's what I basically did here. So this is just all the food stuff, and I do that with a, a sieve thing. So it catches all the beetles on the top, and then all the sieve falls through into this. And then that's where the eggs are when they hatch. That's where your little beetles will come. Well, I'm trying to get at least six of these uh, with beetles for right now. And then basically, eventually, you'll be dumping all six of these in one. And that's why I got the big ones, because they're deeper. They can hold more of that. Because basically what you'll be doing is putting that feed uh, that they eat, all six of them, in one of these bigger, uh, deeper ones. So basically, so every week you would put one in here. And I might even have to get more <laughs> if they don't grow, you know, depending on how fast they grow and everything else. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. I might have to get a second thing to actually hold my smaller beetles once they get to be bigger. Like I can keep them up in into in these uh, for a certain amount of time. But as they start growing, I may either have to use these other four to hold the beetles that I'm either going to keep for pupae or feeding my chickens or whatever while I let them grow bigger. Uh, or, like I said, I may actually have to get some different containers uh, to actually hold them. But I'm not trying to go too crazy. Like I said, I just want to feed my beetles. I'm not trying to raise them to sale. I'm just trying to raise these little worms and stuff and get my own, keep my own beetles for my own chickens, not, not for everybody else's. <laughs> All right, like I said, I just happened to got this, so I was going to show it to y'all. Uh, I just happened to be walking past it, so I was going to go out. So I decided to take a few minutes just to show it to you. Well, while I'm coming out here, I was going to show y'all these two roosters. It's pretty muddy around here. We just got a lot of rain the other day. Had a lot of cold before that. But that one right there is what we call an Easter egg. -er. So that rooster, like I said, he carries the blue egg gene. So if I breed him with any of my chickens, it doesn't matter which one, what kind, or anything else, They'll get the blue egg, the, their offspring, when that egg hatches, the offspring from that egg will have the gene so that when that chicken gets older, she, if she's a hen, <laughs> not a rooster, she'll lay an egg, it'll be, actually be a blue egg. And his buddy over there is going to go out to the auction before long and get sold. Uh, and this is the farm hand, I guess you would call him, Stacy's pet. We called him Baby Brown when he was younger. He likes to be called Mr. Brown now, but he's a little bit of a knothead sometimes, but... He, he kind of follows her around like a dog. Sometimes me and him have misunderstandings. But uh, anyway, I was just going to show him while I was walking out here. Uh, while we're here, I'll show you. This is my daikon radishes. <laughs> you can kind of see it's sticking up out of the ground a little bit. I don't know. I can't get real close. I could zoom in. But normally they go on the ground. But it's pretty big. But my peas got kind of hurt from that frost. We had some 18 degrees, 17 degree weather. And I uh, kind of hurt my peas and stuff. But... One of the things you can see on this daikon radish, it hurt the outside leaves, but you can see it's already starting to put out new little leaves on the inside. So it will come back. Okay, these are the main chickens. They up here thinking I'm going to feed them. That's a white egg layer right there. That's one of the more fancy ones. It's a show bird that's running off. <laughs> see, I just got her kind of new. I did not get her for show. I got her because she was cheap. Uh, this is what they call the neck and necks. You see, they don't have a whole lot of feathers around their neck. And uh, they lay, like I said, a pretty decent egg, but they're not too big. <coughs> the black ocelots are these other hens that are out here. Now, that's the black ocelot rooster. He's pretty good size. That little white and black one uh, and that yellow one, not the one that's trying to get them. Uh, there's a, the one that just came in frame. Those three right over there are, are uh, Easter eggs. I got another two of them. There's another one out there way back there, and there's another one over there by the red hen. Now that red hen that you see, that's kind of red with the yellow, not the one that just walked in the picture, but the other one that's walking out. <laughs> that red hen right there is the one that lays that really big eggs. Uh, that's a production red. I have one here in this pen, and I have another one that's over in that pen over there. Uh, there's some more white ones. We'll walk down that way. It's a little bit wet, but I'll try to walk, get y'all in focus a little bit, and uh, keep me out of the water. <laughs> so I don't going to too many holes but one of the things i can show you over here i actually got a rooster uh somebody actually thought it was a sex link when i guess they bought it don't know what they had and normally you can't buy these in the stores because they don't want to get them out but anyway 
inside this pen, the one that's got the yellow on his neck, the one that's actually the closest to us, the white one's in front of him, but that's actually a production red rooster that's in that pen. Now, that other one is another form of a, uh, she's a different one. I don't know if she's a Saxon or what, but she's also a production hen, uh, but she's not the red production, which is a New Hampshire red and a Rhode Island red cross. But that's a rooster, so. And the other one is in this pen somewhere. I just don't see her right off. Uh, I mean, there's some up there on the post. She might be inside laying an egg even. But uh, I have lavender hens. The lavender hen that actually has the spurs is across the road. And I'm not going to go across there right now. But I will, like I said, I'll get her in another video. But anyway, that's the rooster. And I have another one of them hens in this pen somewhere. <laughs> uh, I just don't see her uh, at the moment. That, that black and white one, you can't really see it from here. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. That one right there, that's what they call a Brahma. She actually has feathers on her feet. That's a young one, but that hen can get up to, uh, I think right at 10 pounds. So that's why I say whenever I'm gonna get a chicken to eat, the one next to her gets up to like eight pounds. That's a Buff Orpington. I originally gotten those uh, in case I wanted what they call a dual, that's the little red hen right there. That's the rooster, that's a lavender, that's a lavender Orpington rooster. That little red one that's right there, that's the other uh, little red production hen that we have. And then that's another buff Orpington that's in here. Uh, but the white ones, I just got them. Uh, I just got those Brahmas that was up there, that Brahma. And there's, there's an extra one over here somewhere. I <laughs> got two of them. Uh, and that yellow buff. And that, I got the yellow buff and the red one right there at the same time. I got that one and the other one that's like her and four of these white ones there's two of them right there at the same time and I got these two that are in this pen I'm gonna zoom this back out a little bit now these two in this pen the fancy one that's over there with the longer tail feathers and uh, I had gotten another rooster which has already been sold at auction with that one so anyway, that's a little update. Uh, like I said, this fence is hot, so I don't want to be touching it. Uh, right there's how it's hot. I don't know if anybody can, well, I'm sure you can't hear them over them clucking, but I can actually hear this fence popping. So I definitely don't want to get on it. <laughs> but anyway, that's just the update on the, those chickens I was trying to show you. So I'm gonna try to use this rooster when he gets a little bit older. He's still too young, but when he gets old enough to breed, I'm gonna use him to make more of the red productions. I'm also gonna buy some California whites, which are actually crossed with these white leghorns. This chicken right here and a California gray. They make a little bit bigger chicken, and however it happens, when they cross them, they actually lay a little bit bigger egg, becomes a little bit bigger chicken and they actually a little bit more eggs than what these do and these are really good egg layers to start with uh so anyway like i said i can then take these or those both and uh let the uh easter egg rooster breed them and then whenever they lay their offspring once those eggs hatch and those chickens grow up big enough the hens will then lay a blue egg uh it'll be a pretty blue egg <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna end this one here and uh thank y'all for watching